tonight, while people across America's finest city may be aware of the homeless crisis, they may not be aware of one of the groups losing their homes despite working their entire lives. We're speaking about San Diego seniors, and believe it or not, many of them are ending up on the streets as rental rates go up. Our Sarah Allegre joins us live from along the Embarcadero with their story tonight. Sarah, good evening. Yeah, good evening to you, Phil. More and more seniors are falling into homelessness. I mean, it's a trend that is moving in the wrong direction. Now, I was able to talk to one resident today. He just found transitional housing, but he says when it comes to finding some permanent housing, his low income and a fixed income is really keeping him at a standstill. It took me about a week for it to sink in when I got here that I actually had a roof over my head. Here's a look at Fred Persuade's transitional housing. It's quaint, but it's safe and more than enough after over six years sleeping on the street. It's like flipping a coin and say, hey, today is your lucky day, you know? His small place traditionally cost around $850 a month, but for him, it's subsidized. They have an overhang. He moved in last December when stumbling upon an organization called Serving Seniors, a happenstance that changed his life. And I just passed by one night and I'm like, man, this is a good place to, to rest my head for the night. Paul Downey is a CEO there. He says Fred is a success story of a deep-rooted issue surrounding seniors in San Diego. Unfortunately, uh, seniors experiencing homelessness is the fastest growing cohort among people that are on the street. The latest data for the Regional Task Force on Homelessness shows that since March, over 8,860 seniors are homeless or on the cusp. That number has risen by over 170 since the start of the year and 600 since January of 2023. We can provide them with food, we can provide them a safe place to be at least during the daytime, but we can't give them the one thing they need which is housing. Part of that problem all stems from the economy, like high inflation. An issue Fred says is the biggest hit to finding a permanent home. Because of my income, it's still impossible to find a place with my income. And we're still waiting to get some numbers back from the San Diego Regional Task Force on homelessness when it comes to the overall population that we're seeing here across the county. And when it comes to the city of San Diego specifically, they just received a $4 million grant from the state of California. They say they want to that all to go toward a transitional housing, but talking to serving seniors today, that local organization, they say yes, affordable housing is much needed, but they also say prevention measures is also a must when it comes to keeping them from falling right back into square one. For now, that's the very latest here along the Embarcadero, Sarah Allegra, Fox 5 News.